Hello and welcome back to Nora's Adventure on this Island with me, Nora. Uh, um, hmm. And other Nora. <laughs> Hi, Nora. <laughs> All right. Well, now we will open the door. That's literally, I think, the only time I'm going to be able to make that joke. Because I'm betting we're not going to see any more Umus. Unus? Unus. 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 Mixed up my consonants. Bye, Nora. Oh, look how pretty this is. I wish I could come along. Nope. You're, you're a plank of wood embedded in the ground. That's rude. <laughs> this may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Newburyport? Not Newport? Well, here's a camp. Unlit candles. Ah, oh, sweet. Illicit Islander hooch. Oh. Is that... Harry? Harry, you were here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Wait a minute. I want to take another look at that photograph. Harry, Harry was on this island, and I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members, and I think I vaguely recognize some of them from the letters that he sent me. But where did they go? Did they set up camp somewhere? So we have... Gung ho looking, maybe adventurer dude. Yeah. Harry. Uh wow, he's really tall. Yep. He he almost with the overalls and stuff. I don't know, maybe he's good with equipment and such. I don't know. This is probably their guide. One of the islanders. A that guy lady. on the right seems shifty. The guy on the I was about to say, yeah. The guy on the right is, just look, look at his posture. Mm -hmm. The way that he's kind of skulking over there. He has, a, I mean, usually you do not have maybe, a really fancy, pristine, nearly white outfit. Maybe part of it is we went, yeah, especially not if you're going Maybe he's a rich financier. He or, could be a financier or he could be uh, potentially like kind of. The man in yellow? Uh, not the man in yellow. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be the man in yellow. If anything, I would expect that he might be more connected, like he knows more than he's letting on, so he's sending, financing them or kind of guiding them towards... But he really has his own nefarious agenda. ends. He's he's the kind of guy that helps, yeah, helps finance this, but then what he's going to do is really take whatever they're seeking for himself and leave everyone yeah. else to die. Either that or he's just a weird, creepy neckbeard. We went to college with a lot of people that thought dressing up like that in, like, 2020 <laughs> was fine. And, like... The clothes looked okay, but the person wearing the clothes, not so much. And who's this lady? Because she's wearing the Nora bobbed 2. hair. Nora 2.0. Nora. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. She, I, she doesn't... Um, I don't know if she has the femme fatale look to her or not. Not really. Not really. Who knows? All right. Lady All right. Shannon... That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Oh, unless the ship is Lady Shannon. Yeah. Six people. Fragile instruments, several boxes of equipment, weapons and explosives, supplies for three weeks. Yeah, I suppose we could check. Oh, that's interesting. She actually has notes for what Every we've encountered. Every single one of these, yeah. I don't necessarily know if we need to read her thoughts on the things that we just did, though. Oh, the island dream drawing. Yep. There we go. What do we know about the Shannon. Yeah. 
Now this, what kind of box is that? Is That's it, a tin. Is it a tin of spam or yeah, something probably. equivalent? Yeah, Some kind of food. Mm hmm Now we have a path to the left, which goes up to some kind of s totem. And maybe another bridge, or maybe that bars some waterway. And then there's that small trail to the right. Let's go up here. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Ah, so the weights must drop and this twists and lowers each side. But what do we need here? So there are five. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. So it looks like we have arrows, arrows up to the side. Oh, that's a symbol for water. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Mm hmm. Oh, it could be. But wait, this, that's three, that's three, that's three. No, 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 back for the Unus. Oh, yeah, we could go back there. Do they have a specific. I would look around, but if there's nothing else here, then it's probably with the Unus. We can look at the Unu. I, th I remember those symbols being on them. So we can go check. Uh, just look at one of these guys. Okay. Instead of going all the way back, just see if you can find one of them. Mm. No, because there's six. Mm. No. Yeah, and well, that has the diamonds, but no. No, no, no. no. It's got to be somewhere else. The only symbol that we've gotten so far has been the There were the, the three ocean symbol. symbols, and that was about it. So why don't you look around in your immediate area? Yeah, because this is the first one that we have. Oh. That's the symbol for water. Yeah, I think that's a translation thing. I think we have to find the symbols for everything. Actually, if you notice, some of those actually seem to correspond with the components. Because if that's the symbol for water, water would be at the bottom, correct? And... That looks like the platform. Bridge parts. Eh. That's the thing. It doesn't it doesn't seem to add up. We might have to come back and when we have the sufficient notes. Oh look. Yeah, so it needs to twist first. And then when that propeller is in the right position the water will pass over it and make it twist but yeah we haven't encountered enough of those symbols oh so there was another path here yeah there is this path yeah so chances are we're going to find it in the next area oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk this fresh air is doing me wonders oh there's another one, but this one has a symbol on it. See? Yeah, look through the symbol. Like, look through the eyes. Yeah, there you go. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. Do you have a notepad? Or, actually, she took a note. Yeah. So is this the symbol for mountain? Yeah. Yeah, that is the symbol for the mountain. Well, we have two of the symbols, and at least what they're supposed to mean. Now... There seems to be a path that arcs down that way, or the one that goes forward. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. There's another wreath around that. Dark. Oh, there's another one. Is there anything of interest over here? Yeah, just a lot of these sandbars and shoals. Wait, this looks different. Do we have to pull this out? Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Ah, the sun. Okay, so we put that in our journal. Now 
look at that. Now there that seems I've to be a little shack. Half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Ah, look at this one. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Fish. Because it's like the dorsal fin, isn't it? Yeah. A little fish, fish hook. hook. Yeah, so they do carve it out of bone. Well, there's that way that goes back up. And there's this way that goes deeper into the grove. Might as well keep going that way. Keep finding clues, see what else we get. Oh, look at all these flowers and the way that they have the light filter in. It is a pretty game. Ooh, what kind of bugs are those? Are birds? Oh, look at all the parrots. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, Love birds? Lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Oh, lorikeets. Can you imagine the amount of poop that would be flying? It would be absurd. Now, it looks like we might have to find... Oh, there, this symbol. This is what we need. Oh, check the n number. Hold up. See how they have broken slots? Oh, three. Yeah. Do you have this written anywhere? Uh... I was filling up my sketchbook. Holy crap, this one's almost done. Ugh. Okay. The parrots seem to really like okay, the so one the, with the arrows. Yeah. So. I think this is the one that we need. Yeah. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet feathers. What a lovely souvenir. So, this one's a four... There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Okay. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay. So look around, because that one's a four. I, I Unless, bet... actually, what you need to do is... It could be slot number two. Uh... You know what I mean? I bet it's number, because if you go back to the other one, two segments were missing. Yeah, no, no. It's that one, right? This one. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Maybe? But it looks like we can't look at this one, so maybe this is the wrong... Who knew for it? Oh, we might be able to go all the way back here. A shortcut. That's convenient. Very convenient. Now what's this one that's standing off on its own? Infinite 2, which is probably not one of the ones we're looking for. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's that up there? More birds. Um, but it was a different kind of bird. And actually, we might be able to go up this. Though, I don't know what for what purpose. Yeah. Don't try to get stuck anywhere. I have no idea how this game functions save-wise. Uh, mm-hmm. The eye. Yeah, it looks Can like... Can you go back and, like, look at every one of these one by one? Okay, sure. Oh, you mean each of these? Yeah. I already had. Well, yeah, but... We haven't actually encountered the upwards platform symbol. Yeah, I don't know if the tops actually are a clue. Mm -hmm. We might just have to put them in order depending on Can what's lowest and what's highest. Can you look at the wave one at the very highest? least? The waves? Yeah, there's a wave one. Nope, left. It wasn't the right wave one, though. Are you sure? Yeah, because the one that we have is this one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And actually, we already have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So Wait, we... there's something on the rock. Go back. Yeah, it's one of those stones, like shells. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
There's been a number of them that have been decorated like that. Yeah, I'm wondering if what we might have to do is do the water is the lowest. Maybe the fish are in the water. Yeah, they're... Might be able to figure out what all those symbols mean. I wonder if this just connects to the trail again? Yeah. Yeah, so this was the mountain. And look, its middle one is missing. Oh. Oh, wait. This isn't the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go back this way. So I think there are two ways that we do this. One that's inferred by the number of prongs on top, and then one that is just how they are oriented compared to one another. So my guess is still that water is the lowest, but fish are in the water. We never really figured out what this symbol was, but we know that the birds are in the air, and then there's the mountain and the sun. Nope. Nope. Why don't you go back to where we learned about the fish and see how many prongs are missing and where? Okay, sure. Have you been keeping little notes, though? Yeah, kind of. Okay, because this one shows that the third slot is missing. Yeah, I already wrote that one down. Okay. And then this one has the final slot missing. Okay, so it's definitely that. Maybe it's just we have to try one and then the other with the other symbols. So I have the fifth slot, the third slot, and the second slot. So all we have to do is find... Oh, right. Second slot was parakeet, right? Yeah, go look at the bird. The rest of these are red herrings. Well, no, this is the one. This is actually one of the symbols, isn't it? Or, kind uh, of, but it's no, missing no, no. two. Where's the bird? Bird one is two. Okay, so I, I wrote that one down. So the... Oh, you checked the fish. Oh, so we need the sun. The sun was in the forest. Yeah. And if we want to go all the way back... The waves for... um, was all the way back here, wasn't it? Yeah, I'll go back to the waves. Because the wave one was in this cavern. Yeah, it looks like our boat's all right. But is our box still there? It is. Our trunk. Yeah, let's take a look at this one. It's the fourth slot. All right. So what's the symbol that we don't have? Sun. The sun? Yep. Well, couldn't we do process of elimination? Sun would be you would number go to one. The end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. Did they really call it dating back then? Mm-hmm. Courtship. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, because if we have all four of the others, wouldn't it make sense? Yeah. Okay, so tell me what they are. Okay, sun. Yep. Uh, birds. All right. Okay, sun, birds, mountain. Oh, so like the birds can fly above the mountain, but the sun is up above the birds. Oh, that kind of makes sense. And yep. then is it water, then fish? Uh, yeah. So I was right in that. You were it's, very close. It's about the order, but I put the fish above the water when they should have been within the water. And I put the birds under the mountain when they technically can fly above it. So it's sunlight, the birds of the air, the earth water and then the fish that are within okay that makes sense well, i guess i hit the jackpot so That's i had the right idea the river, then. 
But yeah, just not the right order. Yeah, so one could technically logic... Actually, wait a minute. Look at that. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't need to actually find the numbers. It says the sun above the birds, above the mountain, with the water and the fish. So logic, but then also clue, but then also other clue. Other I like the fact that there were multiple clues. That's true, because you have this pictorial version, and then you have the numbers as denoted by the different totems. Oh, yeah, and that's interesting, because if you notice this, what this did was it released the pegs mm -hmm. that was holding that in place. Well. Uh-oh. Was that a flash? Could have just been from a passing bird or something. You're awfully quiet. Uh. Uh oh. Loading screen. Oh, it isn't nice loading screen though. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Chapter 2, The Everheart Expedition. I got a little distracted messing with hatching. Wow, what is this place? Looks like a small village. Next Was to a bunch a of small village. basalt. I don't know if it's a village. Some Well, yeah, no, that looks a little I bit more. I have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. Well, that looks ominous. This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up to the outcrop. Wait, really? This is an elevator? Yeah. I mean, there's tons of mm, mechanisms. Something missing here. Ah. So we're going to have to find something to slot into it. Now this looks like something. A tiki. Like something straight out of an adventure novel. Oh, I thought we could actually make him have different faces, too. The Everhard Expedition. They set up camp here. Well, this looks like all of their supplies. Could An angry these one. tiki's be some sort of guardians? Oh, more photographs. More photographs. Wait, so that was... That's the candles again. So now you believe in magic, old pal? He gave me one of their amulets? Oh, he gave one of their a these amulets to each of us. Only Harry kept his. Oh, I wonder if everyone else died or something because they didn't have the special protective amulets. Mm-hmm. Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. Well, what well? He doesn't want to be near the ruins. Why is he so afraid of that well? Oh, there's a well into the water. Maybe it's the well where they kept the evil monster. Mm. It's not so much a well as a... Just a deep... Source a of water area, for it. Yeah. yeah, holding pen. Hey, audio yeah. log. Listen to it. Yeah, sure. I will. I just wanted to see these things first. These ancient Fascinating. Just hit the read button. Sure. These ancient geometrics. Wait, she. Fascinating. You see, if I press play, it's just fascinating. These ancient geometric stone structures are not Polynesian. What purpose do they serve? Yeah, so we need the stone to go in there, and then there's a door. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. Are they telling him and whoever the photographer is not to go up there, or...? A forbidden ritual? He's warning us about the ruins. He says that some sort of forbidden ritual took place here. Probably the sacrifice thing mm -hmm. that we were seeing earlier. 
All right. Well, want me to play this? Of course. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. By when suddenly, my va'a, my canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature i never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that white sand beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island, then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. So she might have been a reporter. Yeah, she she does seem like a reporter. So the lady was a reporter, and he had gone fishing where he shouldn't have, and his va'a got tipped over, and maybe by one of the fishmen? Mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine the fishmen... Uh, I can't imagine the giant sea creature is loose. They wouldn't have let him live. I'm pretty sure it was a fishman that had mm -hmm. used a dagger on him or something. Try to drown him. But then who was the man that brought him back? The one that was in the legends or the tales? Maybe. I'm going to look at this tiki. Blech. The tongue. They're composed of four pieces. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to have to reorient these? Like reconfigure them. Maybe not that one, but maybe there will be one that you have to. Little cot. Oh, it looked like there was more stuff in there, but I'm not tall enough for it. Ooh, more papers, more lore. An ancient Dying hatch. An ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. So they went. Wait, this is this looks like the elevator. Do they take the elevator up to the hole? Yeah. Or so the, whatever like, is at the hole? top of that location. Ooh. Looks like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm so clever. I wonder who the artist is. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. Why don't you read this one? July 14th, 1937. I came to this... 34. Hmm? 1934. I came to this godforsaken island for just a few days and it's already been almost two weeks already of doing nothing. Is this rich jerk going to open that hatch anytime soon? I'm not going to wait for Mr. Know-It-All again like I did with the elevator. He'd better let me handle the situation. We bought dynamite for a reason. Okay, so... Ooh. I've never cared much for games of chance. Oh, these are the... These are the dice that have the suits on them. The king, queen, jack, ace. Though I never knew what you'd use them for. Oh, the revolver's missing. Well, there's the uh the I'm not crush. sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Okay. The only thing anybody uses guns for on this island is threatening to shoot their own wheelies off. <laughs> it looks like they're eating canned peas. Fresh peas? Not so fresh peas. Oh, a Winchester. Oh, so this is the guy who's the rifleman. They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Very neat. Oh, look at this. Someone had a a letter with a, oh, not a letter, a photograph with a big old smooch on it. Are these movie stars, though? 
Unless this is the lady. What do you think? Could be, yeah. Aww. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. To Roy, the best stuntsman in Hollywood. Unless the guy with the big rifle is Roy. Could be. Because didn't he have... Let's, oh, look, we do have four of the different tikis illustrated in here. It's under log, I believe. Log. Yeah, is this him? Yeah, I think that's Roy. Okay, so he's a Hollywood stuntsman who maybe he just thought his acrobatics or athletics would be able to Yeah. get him somewhere. Yeah, net him the ability to be a... Gentleman adventurer. Well, it could have been that, yeah, did he ever play an adventurer and actually wanted to go on a real adventure? Mm hmm Perhaps. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. That he was, except... You know how... The, do you know what the unfortunate thing is? This cast of characters look like they're out of a, a classic expedition in one of those horror films where one by one they're picked off. I think that's exactly what happened. Okay. So this was his side. Well, there's and a little bit more. Yep, yep, yep. Passport. His real name was Costas? Costas Apostolou. Bears address in the United States. Manchester Avenue, Los Angeles. In case of accident... Notify Athanasios Apostolou. Interesting. So maybe Roy was just his nickname. Who worries this much about their appearance in a place like this? <laughs> okay, so we get it. This guy is incredibly nice vain. Are those bars of soap? Yeah, possibly. And that looks like it's for shaving and stuff. Yeah, I think this whole thing is a shaving kit. Really? Why would you be allowed to pick up this mirror? No. To show off their 3D skills. Hmm. Yeah, I do, I do kind of wish for games like this. You weren't able to pick up or flip over everything. Just for the sheer time-saving measure. Not that it really matters, but it's just like... You pick it up, you look at it, and you're like, well, that was a waste. So look for a fourth tiki, by well, the way. Well, I was also looking at these. There's a symbol. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. Ah, uh, so I'll look at all of the tops. Oh, that one's empty. Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. And whose was this? Was this the ladies? Yeah, this might be the journalist ladies area. Mm -hmm. And that was, yeah, where is everyone else's no. housing? Oh, there's more. Back. Okay, maybe there, there are a couple more here. Oh, Blurp. damn it. Someone on the expedition died. Oh, but who? What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. Roy. Roy was the one who died. Mm -hmm. A farewell Orbic message from a friend. Oh, so Roy and Frank. I wonder Frank's who... probably probably the big man. Probably the guy in the overalls, yeah. Yeah, I I doubt it would be the grumpy looking man in the white. Mm-hmm. So it looks like they were playing cards together. I guess we have to finish our game in the afterlife. Rest in peace, pal. Oh, Drayton Motors. Yeah, so maybe he is an engineer of some sort. Yeah. I can see the little eye pop Michelle, up. why don't you turn the... The I never crosshair back on. That this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. 
he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. Question is, how did he die? Here's their dynamite. They're flush out. Mm-hmm. This is probably Frank's. Oh, Just read it. Dr. DeWitt? He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. Why don't you read it? Anyone needs me, I'll be in the medical tent in the flat out crop after blah, blah, blah. what happened i'd better find out more about the uh, well yeah dr dewitt i wonder if dr dewitt is the guy with that the shady one mm -hmm. with the hat oh scroll in we might be able to read it oh yeah because it's the well what happened with the well okay is it friend it's or I. No, it starts with an I. And it ends with a D. I. There it is. I. In oh, after the explosion. After the explosion, yeah. Do you think that Roy died because of the dynamite? Or the beast ate him, or did some serious damage oh look on the back of his oh it looks like a shark symbol yes yeah, so they yanked the i shall turn the turn the crosshair used back the on them as a headstone for roy's grave this one resembles a shark if you turn the crosshair back on it'll be a lot easier for you okay so i have a shark and manta ray ah uh, yeah it does look like a ray doesn't it Nothing else seems to be in this particular one. Nope. Are there uh, pieces on, on the top of either of these? No. Oh. Nope, there is not. Go back to the first area, because there is at least like one or two more. Well, one of them was completely I blank. I close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly but after there... she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. I thought it was nothing at first. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah. It only passed on when sh her mother died? Mm-hmm. So, Shell, go look at the other the other one at the very least. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because it's a, it looks like a octopus-y thing? Or, yeah, it is an octopus. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? Okay, so we have an octopus. That one's completely missing. And we got the corner of that one. All right, then. I suppose we have to go down to this basalt Purple cavern. Or right down here? this path. Go down that path. Except I bet that doesn't take you very far. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. I don't feel like this game is particularly long. Oh, actually, there's more. Oh, there's more encampments. Well, you know what? One way or another, this is actually a really good-ish stopping point. Mainly just because if we keep going, we keep going it far too long. <laughs> All right, so we've gathered a little bit of information about the expedition, and yeah, unfortunately, uh, stuntman Roy seems to have Got perished. Got stuntman dead. All right. Well, I suppose we'll just have to see what's in these other buildings. Hopefully we find more information about, uh, is it Harry? Yeah. Harry and what his role in all of this has been.